Mana, mana. Mana, mana. working on the walls of Colorado Springs. Uh, how would you like to help me assure the future of Colorado Springs? You see, I've found documents that suggest there's a powerful energy source in a forgotten military complex nearby. And it apparently about eight miles southwest of Colorado Springs. I have heard rumors of explorers searching for it in the past. That's unknown. There was one image, very blurry, that showed some kind of small greenish creature in a cell. The documents suggest it was an experiment in cold fusion or something. A Among items recovered by scavengers from a long-buried military convoy was a rucksack containing classified... Ah, your enthusiasm is so refreshing. I was hoping you would... I'm heading there now to assess the situation. The documents contained access codes that should open the outer doors of the complex, which goes by the name of Cheyenne Mountain. Will you join me? Excellent! You have the location, so I'll see you there. Excellent, there. I guess let's hit the um, steel town. Here, just this is a letter to them. Level 11, we are 16. Very good. Oh crap. There is no need to fight any of them because it is completely pointless. Uh, let's try here. Arizona? My cousin saw your truck rolling out of Peterson. Told me about it at our last trading rendezvous. We're just some travelers looking for a place to settle. Colorado Springs ain't got space or supplies. Everywhere else, folk try to kill you on sight. We, frankly, we're starving. You're too weak. Die, motherfuckers. That help, Rangers. Truly help. We were farmers until a few weeks ago. We're clever, but we never had to live like nomads before. <laughs> Kill them, you're too weak for this world. <laughs> Fucking genius. I suppose the red stuff. It's a dead smiley face. What are we looking for here? Something. Some patriarch man got lost, something like that. I 
production store though, okay. Later, we were here first. What we heard shooting in there. We didn't. Sorry, friends. Sorry. Trust me, when this push is over, your relatives will be coming out of this gate with smiles on their faces and big fat. Don't forget to talk to Dr. Breeler about your. Can you help us? Our families are in there. I guess I'll be stuck here for some time since I have the, the bench. Halt. For your own safety, the strap guard is off limits to nostalgia of life for Steel Town and Blood. Steel Town wishes you a nice day. Then you can't hide behind that hologram forever. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're those Desert Rangers, huh? I'm Carla Asphalt Runner of Iron Thunder Logistics. Just trying to get some paperwork. Say, you wouldn't be going into the factory, would you? Because I've been trying to get this sorted out with Benny, my contact in there, and she's not picking up. Oh, you know her? Yeah, that's her. She's the one I deal with when I pick up orders here. But there, well, I got a crate on my truck that's not on the manifest. And Iron Thunder prides itself on getting every delivery right. So I'm not driving off with something I don't have any paperwork for. Especially when it's a goddamn disassembled Warbot. It's crazy, right? Steel Town makes Warbots exclusively for the Patriarch. Nobody else can buy one. So finding one in a shipment with no shipping address or order no- That is right. The last thing the Marshals want, or the Rangers, is for some no good nick. And it gets weirder. When I open the crate to see what was in it, this paper fell out. It says, remember, Jay, 60-40 means 60 for me, 40 for you. XOXOB. I don't know about you, but to me, it sounds like someone inside is... Thanks, I appreciate it. And... Oh, also, if you need any supplies, I've got some returns ITL dispatch that I could sell. Let me know if you want to look. Have a look. That was fucking expensive. <clears throat>
Ten camel, ten armor, ten clacks. Yeah, yeah. A thick woman. I heard from a refugee who left Colorado Springs that you might have seen my daughter, Haley. Is that true? He said he saw you talking to her near the pillar. Haley and me got separated on the road, and I ended up in this camp. Been saving up traveling money to go find her. You know where she is now? Oh, thank you. I can't believe this. After all this... This is Ranger HQ Actual. Come in, Team November. Haley is the girl they were chasing the, the slavers. I talked to her? What? That's incredible, November. One of our recruits saw Haley yesterday in downtown Colorado Springs. I'll put we'll have Masato prepare the best reunion meal this side. Travel safe, ma'am. I can't thank you enough, Rangers. This is all I have left. But if I don't show, I have to. If I just stick to the plan, I'll... Oh, uh, hi. Didn't see you, I'm just... Uh, it's none of your business. You do that? Really? I didn't think anyone gave a shit about us refugees. The bot, it's my mom, okay? She's inside, does data collection on the truck line, but she's also diabetic. We didn't tell it. They used to let us send in one letter a week, and I was using it to smuggle in doses of some insulin we, uh, found. But since the lockdown, no. You guys seem all right, but I'm not gonna trust my mom's only hope to. I, yeah, I'm just not sure I can do it. If I get caught, they'll kill me. I'm not an employee, so no non-lethal. And that assumes I make it all the way inside without getting boiled or crushed in the ducts. That's my way in. There's a little exhaust port in the scrapyard. I could slip in, but armored up mercs like you could never fit. <sighs> You're right. I just gotta hope the lockdown ends before it's too late. Mom's name is Ellen. If you find her, let her know I've got the door. Here. I mean, for fuck's sake. This is why we cannot have nice things. to the plan I'll I'm just you if they used to let us send in one letter a week you guys see more and that assumes I make it all the way inside <sighs> right. I just gotta hope the lockdown down before it's too late mom's name is Ellen if you find her let her know I've got her Oh, 
sorry, friends. It's been a rough whole few weeks out here. Uh, my wife and I just want to be left alone. I do not have anything for lockpicking, do I? There's a desert mechanics mechanics. No luck picking. No worry. We'll go with that next. We blocked it there. John Hill. <clears throat> okay. Hey, you're those desert rangers, huh? I'm Luis. Did I hear Benny Bianchi ask you to come see her in Steel Town? Most of us have family working there. And, and what with it being locked down and all, we don't know if they're alive or dead, or if we'll ever see him again. Damn near everything. Abigail Markham runs the place. Got money from the Patriarch a while back to make it the center of industry in Colorado. Refit all of the ruined factories here in Pueblo. Got all the old systems up and running. Added a few of her own. And now the place makes generators, engines. There are folks that say the founding of Steeltown was as much the making of Colorado as the Patriarch's government. Without the stuff they make here, he wouldn't have been able to do half He's right there. Steel Town has made Colorado. Which is why it's weird to see it having conniptions like this. It used to be a well oiled machine. If you ask Bianchi, we're the future employees of Steel Town. Who we really are is a bunch of displaced fools who thought this place was going to be our salvation. Thought it would beef us. Some of us got jobs. Then they stopped hiring. And the rest of us have been freezing our asses off out here ever since. Out east, on the Colorado border. The Patriarch's peace with the gangs and the planes was supposed to make... Now, though, it seems like the gangs have forgotten the peace exists. They've been coming for settlers like wolves come for sheep. No choice but to up stakes and run. And then, of course, now we're hearing that the gangs are coming here. So we may have only delayed our demise. That's what they said. Apparently, Liberty sending a big scavenging crew this way. Hoping to score some heavy art. And if things go like they have been... Steel Town's guard bots will just hide behind the gates and let us get shot to pieces. I can't believe the owners of this place would leave these people to their fate. We must let them know what's happening here. Used to. It seems like they got their own problems now. Pull back all their patrols. Guard bots only worry about keeping people from going in or out, no matter what Benny Bianchi says. Oh man, could you? Her name is Florinda. She works in the Warbot factory. Just, just let her know. Yeah, Markham's happy talk mouthpiece. Always telling us Steel Town needs us. Sure it does, but not enough to give us four walls and a roof. We're dying by inches out here. Mighty nice of you to ask. Huh, not, see we don't have a proper toilet here. It's dangerous. Not to mention colder than a robot's nuts go outside the camp. Now, we spotted an old job Johnny at the scrapyard. There's a lot of nasty beasties around. Nothing badasses like you could handle, though. If you chase them off, my people can take care of dragging it back here. Thanks. We can hardly wait. Seriously. <laughs> Where else are we gonna go? <clears throat> Rumor is they're turning folks away at Colorado Springs. Besides, there's work here. 
Not to mention, a lot of us have family inside the factory. We're not going anywhere until we see... They're asking for applicants. Bianchi's practically begging for them. But no one gets through the selection process, and I don't know how they could. Stupid tests don't make any places gone crazy. You didn't hear me bending Bianchi's ear? The workers inside haven't been a lot. We all got family in there. Wish Markham would come out and talk to us herself. But all we get is Benny pouring syrup in our ears. Fooey, not a peep. Just Benny saluting the flag and telling us everything's wonderful. You're just what we've been praying for. Go see Doc Breeler in the Human Resources Center up those steps. He's the guy you gotta talk to. Ah, good luck. You specialize in artificial intelligence. Karma This is insane! All they gotta do is walk at 15 feet! Oh, hi! Uh, it's just dumb. I'm the cook here in the camp, and, uh, there's not a lot to cook. People are... The uh, dump part is, the meat got moved to the loading dock, but now it's just sitting there. <laughs> Apparently, the paperwork to actually deliver it got lost, so even though I can say it, I can't get it! They won't let, could you? That would be incredible. If you can get inside, talk to a guy named Walsh. He was my liaison on this until I stopped hearing from him. Tell him the meat for cooking is on the loading dock, and it just needs his approval to be delivered to the camp. Thank you so good luck. Hey again, Rangers. Any luck, Walsh? Good luck. Hey again, Rangers. Any luck with those bot Great. Good luck. to the Steel Town Human Resources Evaluation Center. Enter the, uh... You don't look like the usual candidates. What's going on? Why do you have so many weapons? Oh yeah, I've heard of you. But I'm afraid knowing Patriarch Buchanan isn't enough to get you. To enter the factory, you have to pass the evaluation test. And to do that, you have to be examined by the machines. And lately, they've been failing applicants 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Sure, ask away. I've got nothing else to do. And I'm not to be the living definition of the term Kafkaesque. To drain the hopes and dreams of a hunt. <sighs> Sorry, I have a bile problem. The stated purpose of the test is to evaluate the fitness, work experience. People who pass are sent for job placement, but that almost never happens. Inertia? Once upon a time, I had a staff here, and we gave all these tests manually. Sent a lot of people through that door to a then Markham built her computation engine and decided that it would make all the hiring decisions. So she had these evaluation machines installed and told me that my new job was to be the friendly... F Apparently, the computation engine said that was the position I'm best suited for. So now the machines do all the work, and I... Horace Breeder. You wouldn't guess it now, but I was an actual doctor one. Only good thing is, I can do this job stone drunk. So I'm like... Good to know, Doc. Good to know. Ha! <laughs> what I tell myself every morning when I get up is... It's better to be paid for getting drunk than to not be paid for getting drunk. I've never seen it. Could be a big brain in a... But if that's the case... And it's got brain damage because the people who go through that door are always the ones i wouldn't have picked in a million years oops sorry i'm supposed to say it's the best thing ever so it's the best thing ever sure then step into the garbage disposal behind me <laughs> i'm sorry i meant the bot on get your you look too competent Please keep your arms and legs fully inside the chamber.
but I mean obviously you just go with the, the most. The biological assessment pod has completed its evaluation. Please move on to the ocular scan. You have failed the test. <laughs> the ocular scan is complete. Follow me to the skills test. Okay, that's over with. You passed. We finally got a pass. Go back outside to the main gate and they'll let you in. And tell Benny Bianchi I'm still waiting for my toilet paper. First warning, unauthorized requisition of supplies. Probably steel town security and medical personnel are authorized to use this door. Step away. You passed the screening? So you have the car. Damn, he was far away.
Well, they are shooting hot to the What the fuck is that? Someone, someone throw something. No, the rabbit. Like that's not my dog. You survived. Uh, thanks for taking care of those bandits. They're such a nuisance. Are you coming? The bandits? Huh. They call themselves the Ghost Gang. I call them the losers. They steal every fantastic. Hi everyone. It's Denny to be on me again. Steel Town has openings for every position from machinist to engineer. Is the car back? Where's the car? Oh, there's the car. 